जय हिंद जय भारत एंड वेलकम टू डेफ टॉक्स दिस इज आदि अचिंत जैसे आप सब देख रहे हैं मेरे साथ हैं तिलक दिवासर साहब जो हमको आज समझाएंगे कि ये पाकिस्तान हम लोग क्या पहले एक बोलते थे कि साहब इफ यू कीप स्नेक्स इन योर बैकयार्ड दे विल कम एंड बाइट यू टू आज वो जो सेइंग है वो जो हिलरी क्लिंटन ने एक चीज बोली थी वो आज कहीं ना कहीं सच्चाई में बदल रही है सो लेट्स ट्राई एंड फाइंड आउट व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन पाकिस्तान there are too many terrorist organizations to keep a track of but pakistan seems to be playing them all firstly sir namaskar welcome to the show uh, always a pleasure to have you and you know to learn from you uh, trust me people in afghanistan pakistan and india everybody wants to listen to what you have to say so it's it's <laughs> always a pleasure to have you on the show uh, namaskar adi thank you so much aapne mujhe fir bulaya so always a pleasure being on your show in fact i learn so much from your shows okay, sir. thank you So sir, let me ask you this right at the beginning. What in the world is Pakistan trying to do, sir? ये इतनी सारी terrorist organisations को फिर खड़ा कर रखा है इन लोगों ने. I thought FATF के बाद they would, you know, they would kind of थोड़ा सा अपना imprint reduce करेंगे कि यार थोड़ा सा इनसे दूर करते हैं. We'll do it, but we'll do it in a little different way this time. But ये तो they've started up again, and this seems to be completely an American plan to kind of destabilise this particular region. ये क्या? What do you think? कि इनका plan क्या है? And क्या पाकिस्तानियों ने सोचा है सर ये क्या कर रहे हैं जी एक तो पाकिस्तानी क्या कर रहे हैं दूसरे जो स्नेक्स जैसे आपने कहा था उन्होंने पाले हुए हैं दे आर कमिंग टू बाइट आप पिछले आप पंद्रह बीस दिन का मुआयना करें पाकिस्तान और द नेबरहुड ईरान पे अटैक्स हुए हैं बलूचिस्तान में मेजर अटैक्स हुए हैं चाइना पे अटैक वो चाइनीज इंजीनियर्स पर अटैक हुआ है उन्होंने एयरक्राफ्ट भेजे हैं TTP has attacked them. They attacked Taliban. Mm-hmm. The uh, Taliban retaliated. Again, there have been a couple of attacks, and then finally, of course, to Moscow. Me, so, so many things are cut in. In fact, analysts are also difficult to how to segregate, you know, the uh, various developments that have been happening, and where they go and where they get the arms. It's a it's a difficult question, and I'm sure Pakistan is also struggling. And this. Mm-hmm. हो रहा है क्योंकि उन्होंने इतने सालों से डिकेड से अपने पूरे नेबर्स को तंग करके रखा हुआ है हमें तो किया ही गया अफगानिस्तान को टाइम डिस्टेबलाइज किया है ईरान के साथ उसने पंगे लिए हुए हैं और चाइना को इट कान प्रोटेक्ट द चाइनीज वर्कर्स तो सब लोग सब रीजन जो रीजनल पावर्स हैं चाइना के पाकिस्तान के सब पाकिस्तान से तंग है तो एक एक करके आप ले सकते हैं अगर आप सवाल पूछें तो एक एक करके वी कैन गो इन टू दिटेल्स Let's do that. So, ये बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग रहेगा क्योंकि ईरान इज समथिंग विच वॉज मेरे लिए बड़ा अनएक्सपेक्टेड था uh, सबसे पहले तो मुस, तू भी मुसलमान हम भी मुसलमान जो पाकिस्तान का एक बड़ा फेवरेट डायलॉग है दैट वॉज अटल अनएक्सपेक्टेड कि ईरान आके यहाँ पर uh, जैश उदल को उसने अटैक करा है एंड देन पाकिस्तानी सो कॉल्ड रिटेलिएटेड ये वो अभी परसों एक बहुत बड़ा अटैक हुआ सर ग्वादर के अंदर एंड एज अ मैटर फैक्ट टूडे मॉर्निंग ऑल्सो अभी तक मेरे पास उसकी कन्फर्मेशन नहीं है बट इट सीम्स एज एन अदर अटैक विच इज है जो भी कह लीजिए सर इंडिया का इंटरेस्ट है उसमें ये वो वो दैट वी विल काइंड ऑफ टॉक थोड़ा सा यू टॉकिंग अबाउट चाबहार टॉकिंग अबाउट चाबहार सॉरी नेट नॉट ग्वादर चाबहार में ईरान में तो इंडिया का इंटरेस्ट है उसके अंदर दैट वी विल काइंड ऑफ डिस्कस अ लिटिल लेटर बट सर ये ईरान को स्टार्ट अप करना वुड बी द ओनली कंट्री दैट यू कैन कनेक्ट इज इज अमेरिका तो ये क्या देखते हो सर व्हाई ईरान ईरान को क्यों वो है कि इज दिस अमेरिका ट्राइंग टू प्ले द प्रॉक्सी गेम विद ईरान कि ये पाकिस्तान अपना कुछ खेल रहा है ईरान के साथ जस्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट बीएलए और समथिंग आई मीन जस्ट टू हैमर द बीएलए क्या है व्हाट व्हाट डू थिंक इट इज इसी इसके जो ईरान की जो सिचुएशन है सॉरी इस डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड जो मिडल ईस्ट में हो रहा है है ना बिकॉज जो ईरान है या ईरान के प्रॉक्सीज है एंड इसराइल को जो थ्रेट है इज फ्रॉम ईरान एंड इट्स प्रॉक्सीज जी so after the latest attack jo iran ne kiya jiske andar wo israeli um, uh, iranian diplomats sorry uh, uh, revolutionary guard ke log officer mar gaye the uske baad log samajh rahe the ki ek reaction aayega iran se aur usa ne kaha bhi tha ki do din mein reaction aane wala hai i think unko preempt karne ke liye ki agar aap koi reaction dikhayenge to agar aapke paas proxies hain to dusre dusron ke paas bhi proxies hain तो इन लोगों ने तीन जगह पर अटैक किया 
एक चार बार पे एक रसक पे और एक और जगह है तीन जगह पे उन्होंने अटैक किया रसक एंड सरबाज सरबाज हाँ पीपल से तेरह लोग मरे या पंद्रह लोग मरे यू नो डिटेल्स आर ऑलवेज वेरी वेरी शायद पता नहीं चलता कितनी एक्चुअली कैजुअलिटीज बट ये काफी बड़ा सस्टेन और काफी देर तक अटैक चला सो आई थिंक एक तरह से मैसेज है ईरान को कि अगर आपके पास प्रॉक्सीज हैं तो दूसरों के पास भी प्रॉक्सीज हैं अब देखना ये कि ईरान कैसे रिएक्ट करता है ये पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ रिएक्ट करेगा जैसे पिछली बारी उसने किया था जब उसने जैश अदल के कैंप्स सो कॉल्ड कैंप्स को अटैक करने की कोशिश की बट अल्टीमेटली कुछ बलोच सिविलियन ही बने वो करता है या वो इसराइल की साइड से कुछ करेगा हुँ. अब क्योंकि ईरान हैज टेकन लॉट ऑफ हिट्स पिछले आई एस पी का अटैक जो हुआ था करमान में आ, उसके पहले 23 में शराज में आई का अटैक हुआ था देन, आ, में उड़ा दी थी हाँ देन जो इसराइल ने किया है जैश अदल जान तो आई एम श्योर ईरान किसी तरह से प्रेशर फील कर रहा होगा कि भाई अगर ये लोग ऐसे ही करते रहे तो माय डेटरेंस और माय रेपुटेशन इज एट स्टेक तो ईरान को कुछ ना कुछ तो करना पड़ेगा अब वो क्या करता है कहाँ करता है ये आगे चल के पता चलेगा कि पाकिस्तान विल बी दीजियस्ट टारगेट टू इट और एक जो बड़ी चीज जो ईरान ने अभी इतना लीवर यूज नहीं किया इज दिस ईरान पाकिस्तान पाइपलाइन वेन आसफ सरदारी वॉज द प्रेजिडेंट जस्ट बिफोर गोइंग दे एंटर इन टू एन अग्रीमेंट जी एंडली बॉर्डर तक बना ली है जी पाकिस्तान ने शुरू भी नहीं किया पैसे ही नहीं है उसके पास तो अगर ये इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट में जाते हैं ईरान पाकिस्तान में लेफ्ट पे समथिंग लाइक एटीन टू नाइनटीन बिलियन डॉलर Just to Iran for this pipeline, no foreign exchange, no debt, nothing. This is a huge slap in the face for Pakistan. ये lever अभी तक Iran ने use नहीं किया. क्या ये lever use करेगा? Smuggling बंद करेगा? तो we have just wait and watch. So that is the one part of the equation, which is the Iran angle. अब थोड़ा इस तरफ आइए बलूचिस्तान पे. बलूचिस्तान में BLA has become very active. कैच को किया उन्होंने कल परसों पंजगोर उसके पहले ग्वादर को मेजर अटैक था तो दे हैव आल्सो अप दी एंटी जी अब पहले जो बलोच हमेशा सेपरेटली लड़ते थे अब फोर और फाइव ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैव कम टुगेदर इन अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड ब्रास इट्स कॉल्ड बलोच रज्जी अजोनी समथिंग लाइक दैट इन अ बलोच फ्रीडम मूवमेंट सो दे आर नॉट पूलिंग देयर रिसोर्सेज और वो कट्ठे प्लानिंग करके कट्ठे लड़ रहे हैं Hmm. फिर आपका उनका मजीद ब्रिगेड है जो सुसाइड स्कॉट्स का वेल ट्रेन सो दे हैव आल्सो अप द गेम इन बलोचिस्तान और आपको तो मालूम है जैसे टीटीपी और कुछ बलोच ग्रुप्स के पास कोई टैक्टिकल अलायंस है सो so, जिससे टीटीपी को जगह मिल गई है स्पेशली कलात एंड मकरान और बलोच ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस को एक्सेस टू हाई हाई क्वालिटी वेपन नाइट विजन थर्मल इमेजिंग तो इससे पाकिस्तान के लिए और भी मुश्किल हो गया टू अटैक दम एंड चाइनीज बिकॉज जो भी अटैक ग्वादर पर होता है या कहीं और होता है हाईवे बंद होती हैं अल्टीमेटली इफेक्ट तो चाइनीज को पड़ता है बिकॉज पीपल विल नॉट चाइनीज विल फील वारेड उनके बैंक लोन के लिए झकेंगे कि भी हम कितना इन्वेस्टमेंट करें या ना करें तो एक ये है दूसरा अभी जो मैंने पिछले बारी आपके प्रोग्राम में बात की थी जो सिविल सोसाइटी मूवमेंट है जब वो दिसंबर में गए थे इस्लामाबाद दिस बलोच अगजी काउंसिल और उन्होंने बड़ा प्रोटेस्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन किया था एंड डॉक्टर महारंग बलोच यंग फायर ब्रांड लीडर हु केम टू द फोर तो वो अभी बैकग्राउंड में है बट एवरी डे दे आर टेकिंग अप इश्यूज मिसिंग पर्सन जैसे ग्वादर में फ्लड आए कोई रिलीफ नहीं था उन्होंने बहुत उनकी रिपोर्ट्स बनाई कि बलोच जो है ग्वादर में कितना सफर कर रहे हैं तो ग्वादर इज सपोज टू बी द फ्लैगशिप ऑफ द चाइना पाकिस्तान इकोनॉमिक कॉरिडोर वहाँ के कंडीशन बहुत ही खराब है यू नो टर्म्स कभी वाटर नहीं होता पीने के लिए कभी फ्लड आ जाते हैं 
फिशिंग फिशिंग का अपना इशू है सो दे हैव बीन रेजिंग दोज इशूज ऑल्सो देन यू कम टू वट हैपन टू दी चाइनीज ये अटैक हुआ था अभी रिसेंटली ऑन शांगला डिस्ट्रिक्ट शांगला वेर दे से फाइव चाइनीज इंजीनियर्स डाइ देर आर सम रिपोर्ट की पांच से ज्यादा मरे हैं अब कह रहे हैं पांच बट अगर इवन आप पांच भी कहें एक मरे या पंद्रह मरे वॉइट इज चाइनीज के लिए बड़ा दर्जा है क्योंकि यू नो दे एक्सपेक्टेड कि भी तुम ये नहीं प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते और आप चाहते हो कि हम आपके डैम्स आगे बनाए आपके पावर प्लांट्स बनाए तो अभी प्रोटेक्शन कैसे देंगे तो पाकिस्तान ऑलमेज से कि नहीं हमने वो सिक्योरिटी डिविजन बनाई है अच्छा इज इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग अबाउट दिस इज ये जो गाड़ी थी दिस हेड बीन स्पगल फ्रॉम द चमन बॉर्डर नो ड्यूटी वॉज पेड फॉर टेन डेज इट वॉज पार्क एट अ पेट्रोल पंप नियर द वेन्यू ऑफ दिस अटैक दस दिन से ये गाड़ी वहां पार्क थी अब नॉर्मल अगर ये हाई सिक्योरिटी जोन हो आप एक दिन चक्कर मंगाए दूसरे दिन गश्त करें तीसरे ये गाड़ी करके लिए किसकी गाड़ी है नॉर्मल तो इन्वेस्टिगेशन यही होता है ना इफ यू सी समथिंग एन यूजल आप जाएगा थानेदार जाएगा वहां के भी यू नो वट इज है बिलोंग टू एंड वाई इज इट पार्क टू भैया पेट्रोल पंप वाले से पूछेगा अच्छा पेट्रोल पंप वाले ने भी अभी तक तो कोई बयान नहीं आया कि किसकी गाड़ी थी कौन था कब आया तो एंड इस तरह के जो अटैक्स होते हैं ना यू वेरी गुड इंटेलिजेंस ऑन द सीन रोकना बड़ा मुश्किल है आई मीन वो हाईवे है और बस जा रही है दूसरे तरफ गाड़ी आ रही है यू ब्लो इट अप सो इंटेलिजेंस हैज टू बी गुड ऑब्वियसली देर इज बीन मेजर लैब्स मेजर लैब्स ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस नंबर वन एजेंसी की एक लैब्स है ये दे हैव नॉट बीन एबल एंड द चाइनीज नो इट चाइनीज है तेरे में कर क्या रहे हो आप और ये दूसरा यू नो पिछले साल भी यही हुआ था पिछले साल या दो तीन साल पहले भी तेरह चाइनीज इंजीनियर्स अराउंड द सेम दासू वर्क जो दासू डैम पे काम कर रहे थे उनके साथ ही हादसा हुआ अब ये फिर हो गया अच्छा अभी तक किसी ने इसको क्लेम नहीं किया पाकिस्तान बड़ी कोशिश कर रहा है कि एक अफगान लिंक दिखाया जाए तो चाइना के जो या तालिबान का हो या टी का हो तो ये दिखाया जाए कि चाइना जो अपने रिश्ते अब तालिबान के साथ क्लोज कर रहा है इन्वेस्टमेंट के तौर पे और ऑल इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट पे उन दोनों ने अपने एम्बेसडर्स एक्सचेंज किए हैं उसमें एक दरार पड़े तो पाकिस्तान के मफाद में ये है कि और प्रेशर पड़ेगा तालिबान पे अगर चाइनीज भी नाराज हो जाए मैंने कहा थिंक चाइनीज आर मोर सेंसिबल इन द सेंस दे नो कि पाकिस्तान की गेम क्या है तो वो इतनी जल्दी इस गेम में नहीं फंसने वाले अच्छा फिर आप और वेस्ट वर्ल्ड चले पाकिस्तान तालिबान मीर अली में बड़ा एक मेजर अटैक हुआ एक कर्नल साहब और एक कैप्टन उनकी फौत हो गई तो इमीजिएटली पाकिस्तान रिएक्टेड टू डेज लेटर उन्होंने दो जगह पर कोस्ट और पक्तिका में मेरे ख्याल उन्होंने एयर रेड्स किए वही सिविलियंस भरे थ्री चिल्ड्रन टू वेमेन दे से देड इंटेलिजेंस अबाउट इज वन चैप कॉल अब्दुल्ला शाह टी टी पी कमांडर अच्छा उसका वीडियो आ गया वो पाकिस्तान में था and you know uh, uh, apparently he is a very interesting character you know what his hobby is to keep exotic birds you know that's his hobby to keep exotic birds and he is in pakistan he showed himself he came out in a video talabar say what are you saying you know the run by the gul bahadur go he so the and so the taliban reacted they let loose motors or in his statement mein kaha That these kind of activities across the artificial Durand line, you know, artificial do that. That's a key word. And Pakistan has also made an objection. This is also very provocative. How can you say that? Hey, artificial. You know, I know it. Everybody knows it. It's an artificial line, which the Afghans had 1949. So they have made it. They have said that there is no border. Pakistan pretends that it is an international border. Now they are putting pressure on the Taliban. टू टेक एक्शन अगेंस्ट द टी टी पी अच्छा एक तो डायरेक्ट है दूसरा जो जो दे आर वेपनाइजिंग ट्रेड अफगानिस्तान क्योंकि लैंडलॉक कंट्री है तो जितना भी उनका जो इम्पोर्ट्स आते हैं या एक्सपोर्ट्स है वो सब कराची से आते हैं वहां पर उन्होंने रोक लगा ली एंड रिटेनिंग कंटेनर अफगान के जो कंटेनर है उनको डिले कर रहे हैं और एडिशनल ड्यूटी उन्होंने लगा दी है उन्होंने बैंक गारंटीज मांगी हैं 
ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स टू प्रेशराइज द तालिबान कि हम आपको ट्रेड कभी तंग करेंगे अफगान रिफ्यूजीज हम भेज रहे हैं अब हम डॉक्यूमेंटेड अफगान रिफ्यूजीज भी वापस भेजेंगे तो दे आर वेपनाइजिंग ट्रेड अच्छा जब एक लैंड लॉक कंट्री होती है एंड इट हैज ट्रांजिट राइट्स करता नहीं ऐसे कुछ यू इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड समथिंग दैट शुड बी डन और कैन बी डन बट पाकिस्तान इज पुलिंग आउट ऑल स्टॉप अच्छा एक चीज जो जैसे मैंने पहले कहा था टी टी पी तालिबान है फट टूगेदर इन अफगानिस्तान और टी ने उनको शेल्टर दिया था जब वो तालिबान थे in 2001 when they had to flee from afghanistan they got shelter in north waziristan and south waziristan aur wahan ke jo tribal log the aaj wo ttp mein hain to pashtun wali ke tahat unko taliban ko unko sanctuary aur shelter dena hi dena hai nahi dete so they will be called bagairat that is without honor which is probably the worst gali you can give to a pashtun ki yaar tu to bagairat nikla then During this war, when the U.S. was there, about 8,000 tribal people have died. Unka khun baha hai during the war. Taliban know this, so wo khun ka badla bhi hai. So for these reasons, Taliban, I think, have made it clear to Pakistan that we, 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 to talk to them and resolve the issue it's interesting that the taliban does this sir ye bada interesting sa game hai and i i just want to take your opinion ye to wohi game hai sir pakistan ka good good taliban bad taliban because bilkul ttp and tta ke andar koi difference mere ko to dikhta nahi hai sir nahi difference hai bhi nahi and as ye jo taliban ke haath mein ek chura hai wo chura pakistan ke gale par hai और वो छुरा है टीटीपी अगर पाकिस्तान ज्यादा ही कुछ यू नो कोशिश करेगा या प्रेशराइज करने की कोशिश करेगा दे विल टेल द टीटीपी टू अप द गेम और टीटीपी तो वैसे ही तैयार बैठी हुई है अब तो उनके पास वेपनरी भी अच्छी आ गई है देव गॉट अगेन लाइक देव गिवन टू द बलोच नाइट विजन ग्लासेस एंड थर्मल इमेजिंग नाइट विजन स्कोप सो तालिबान विल नॉट गिव अप दिस इज what taliban has strategic depth in pakistan why the ttp ab ye lever why should they give it up hmm aur pakistan samajh nahi pa raha hai ki main isko tackle tackle kaise kar aur kyunki ye both sides of the durand lands ko khatra hai ek tarah se taliban ne taliban ne saaf mana kar diya to hum durand line mante hi nahi hai ttp ne bhi yahi kaha hai ki ye jo ilaka hai former fata ka ye to hamara hai and they are backing what taliban is saying we don't accept the durand line aur unhone ek badi nationalist line lena shuru kar diya pehle ttp ka mauqaf tha ki sirf aap ye sharia nafiz kare ab wo sharia ke ilawa bhi wo keh rahe hain ki for pashtun rights ab they talking about pashtun rights they talk about baloch rights unke jo media hai unka jo podcast hai unke jo newspapers hai aur unke jo new night letters hai wo sab pe wo ye keh rahe hain कि बलोच के और पश्चून के जो राइट्स उनको मिलने चाहिए पाकिस्तान उनको वो राइट्स दे नहीं रहा सो दे आर अडोप्टिंग मोर नेशनलिस्ट लाइन और बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एंड यू सी तालिबान ऑल्सो चेंज द टैक्टिक्स पहले तो वो इनडिस्क्रिमिनेटली किलिंग करते थे यू नो दे वर ब्लो अप सिविलियंस सो दे वर द रिजेंटमेंट अमंग लोकल पॉपुलेशन और इसी कोई भी इंसर्जेंसी सर्वाइव नहीं कर सकती जब तक आपको लोकल सपोर्ट ना हो तो जब द न्यू अबीर के नूर वली मसूद इन 2018 उन्होंने अपने टैक्टिक्स चेंज किए और बोला कि हम सिर्फ हार्डन टारगेट्स आर्मी पैरामिलिट्री और पुलिस को टारगेट करेंगे सिविलियंस को आप टारगेट नहीं करेंगे सो आप देखेंगे जितने भी उन्होंने अटैक्स किए हैं दे वेरी फ्यू व्हिच आर यू नो फॉर द सिविलियंस ऑल देम आर हार्डन टारगेट अच्छा ये एक फर्क आ जाता है आईएसकेपी और टीटीपी पे आईएसकेपी सिविलियन टारगेट्स को वो करेगी जैसे बाजौर में उन्होंने किया जेई वाई एफ की रैली या कहीं भी आईएससीपी का जो अटैक होता है ना इट इज सिविलियन मास कैजुअल्टी टू अट्रैक्ट अटेंशन अच्छा टीटीपी का वो नियम उन्होंने चेंज कर लिया सो दे आर ऑल्सो नाउ गेटिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द पॉपुलेशन नेशनलिस्ट लाइन ले रहे हैं और पॉपुलेशन का सपोर्ट है तो इट्स अ कॉम्प्लेक्स सिचुएशन ऑन बोथ साइड द डोरेंट लाइन अब इसको आप 
تو ایران کی سچویشن ہے بلوچ کی سچویشن ہے چائنیز کی سچویشن ہے ان سب کو آپ ملا کے دیکھیں تو پاکستان فیز اے ویری ڈیفیکلٹ ٹائم بہت مشکل ہے پاکستان کے لیے اوپر سے اکانومی ایون چیمبلس اگر آئی ایم ایف کا انجیکشن نہ ہو وہ بھی انجیکشن بھی ٹیمپریری ہے نا دو مہینے کے بعد تین مہینے کے بعد وہ ٹرانش ختم ہو جاتی ہے پھر آئی ایم ایف کے پاس جاتے ہیں اب پرائم منسٹر صاحب گئے ہوئے ہیں سعودی عربیہ اوسٹینسبلی فار ریلیجیس پرپز بٹ پھر بھی وہ کٹورا تو نکالیں گے اپروپریٹ ٹائم آسکنگ کہ بھائی ہمیں پیسے دو ہمیں پیسے دو دس از واٹ ایم سینگ سر کہ یہ جو افغانستان سے بھی جو ایک ایک سی افغانستان کو پتا ہے دیٹ انہوں نے پاکستان کا دیو دیو ہیلڈ دیٹ نرو دے نو اینڈ دے دے نو اف وی لیٹ گو آف دس یہ پاکستانی ہماری نرو پکڑ لیں گے سو آئی ڈونٹ تھنک دی افغانس ول ایور لیٹ گو آف دس جتنے مرضی تم ہاتھ پیر جوڑ لو جتنے مرضی پیسے پوسے دے دو جو مرضی کر لو آئی ڈونٹ تھنک دیٹ افغانیز ول ڈو اینی تھنگ آف دس آٹ کیونکہ ان کے لیے تو سب سے بڑا یہ ہے نہیں تو وہ ان کو پتا ہے پاکستانی اندر گھسیں گے ہمارے اندر آ کے look what they're doing exactly. to the people so this is something that that that, that if i was the taliban mai to kabhi nahi chhodunga isko i will not because this is a protection this yeah. is a protection jo taliban ki hai against uh, pakistan is a kai jagah pe pakistan mein jo fencing banayi hai they have taken in afghan territory and afghan jo pashtun hai taliban they are first nationalist second nationalist last nationalist wo compromise nahi karenge and they are very trained fighters اور اگین جو دوسری غلطی پاکستان کر رہا ہے کہتے ہیں کہ ان کے پاس تو آرمی نہیں ہے ہاؤ کین دے فیس اس ان افغان ہسٹری نو افغان آرمی ہیز ون ڈسائسو وارز اٹ از اے ٹرائبل منشاز آلویز ایٹ ونس ہر جگہ پہ ہر وار پہ برٹش فرسٹ افغان وار سیکنڈ افغان وار تھرڈ افغان وار آپ ہسٹری ان کی پڑھیں تو ٹرائبل منشا ہوتا ہے نا وچ از motivated by protection of the homeland against the foreigner wo hamesha jeete hain to agar pakistan is tarah ki koi harkat karta hai jaise afghanistan ke andar chala gaya hot pursuit target kar raha hai inko to reaction jo aayega na wo tribes se aayega so the fact that they don't have a regular infantry battalion or infantry brigade wo ko maine nahi rakhta people are armed people are trained and they will take revenge so i agree with you they will not اسٹریٹجک ڈیتھ اب طالبان کو ملی ہے پاکستان کے اندر پاکستان آل دیز ڈیکیڈس وہ سوچتا تھا کہ مجھے ہاں الٹا کہ مجھے اسٹریٹجک ڈیتھ افغانستان میں چاہیے اگر کبھی انڈیا اٹیک کرے گا اب یہ تو الٹا ہو گیا نا طالبان ہیز گاٹ اسٹریٹجک ڈیتھ ناٹ اونلی تھرو دا ٹی ٹی پی بٹ آلسو آئیڈیولوجیکلی تو لوڈ آف پیپل سے کہ بھائی یو نو وٹ دے ار سینگ فار پشتون رائٹس اور پشتونوں کو جس طرح سے ایکسپلائٹ کیا جا رہا ہے بائی پنجابیز اٹ از ٹرو so a lot of people are sympathetic they are not sympathetic towards the social agenda of the taliban jis tarah se wo women ko uh, ill treat kar rahe hain ya baki cheeze hain but on pashtun nationalism pashtun rights uh, they, they they do support what the taliban is doing acha aur dusra problem taliban ka ye hai agar pakistan ke kehne pe aake wo ttp pe pressure karte hain ٹی نے صاف کہا ہے اگر ہم پہ پریشر بنتا ہے پاکستان سے یا طالبان سے ان کے بہت سارے فائٹرز آئی ایس کے پی جوائن کریں گے بیکاز آئی ایس کے پی شروع میں 2014-15 میں جب بنی تھی بنی تھی فرام اس ٹائم جب ایکسرسائز ہر بے عزب شروع ہوئی تھی سو لو ٹی ٹی پی فیلوز ہیڈ فلرڈ ان ٹو افغانستان اس کے بہت سارے لوگ جوائن تھے آئی ایس کے پی تو ان کے لنکس آئی ایس کے پی کے ساتھ ہیں اور طالبان بھی یہ جانتا ہے اگر ہم ٹی ٹی پی پہ پریشر ڈالیں گے اور اگر ٹی ٹی پی یو ایس پاکستان سے پٹ گئی تو اٹ ول اسٹرینتھن آئی ایس کے پی جو طالبان کے لیے خطرہ ہے اچھا یو ایس آلسو نوز دس یو ایس نوز کہ ہمارے لیے خطرہ تو آئی ایس کے پی ہے اور اگر ٹی ٹی پی ہارم ہوئی ان اینی وے فرام پاکستان they will strengthen the iskp jo russia ke liye pure central asia ke liye and ultimately us ke liye khatra hai so badi complex badi complex game hai you know and people have to tread very very cautiously ki kahi is tarah se karke a simple strategy a simple logic karke in fact after this moscow attack 
द फीलिंग जो सेंट्रल एशिया में है इंक्लूडिंग सी रशिया एंड ईरान हैव बीन इन टच विद द तालिबान सिंस 2016-17 प्रिसाइसली बिकॉज ऑफ द फेयर ऑफ द आई एस के पी जब आई एस के पी उभर कर आई थी दो हजार पंद्रह सोलह में उनके अटैक्स हुए उनके टेरिटरी मिली तब से रशिया को बालो तक ये तो बड़ा हमारे लिए खतरा है तो देवर इन टच विद तालिबान नाउ ऑल द सेंट्रल एशियन कंट्रीज ऑल्सो फील कि भाई अगर मोनोपली ऑफ वायलेंस अगर सिर्फ तालिबान के पास हो एंड दे कीप इन दे विल कीप आई एस के पी इन चेक पर उनको खतरा तालिबान से नहीं है उनको खतरा आई एस के पी से है और आज की तारीख में जो बल्क ऑफ द फोर्सेज हैं आई एस के पी के देर ताजिक ताजिक आज ताजिकिस्तान और अफगान ताजिक सो दैट इज बिकम अग थ्रेट टू सेंट्रल एशिया इज अग थ्रेट टू रशिया बिकॉज इतने ताजिक वर्कर्स जाते हैं रशिया में काम करने के लिए हाउ टू कीप मॉनिटर दम एंड इवन फॉर द यूएस इवन फॉर द यूएस जब वो इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक थी पावर में द यूएस एंड द इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक एट टाइम्स एट टाइम्स दे आर रिपोर्ट collaborated with the taliban which was fighting them to take out the iskp aur ek baat sab mante hain ki after coming into power in 2021 taliban ne iskp ke khilaf bahut action liya hai aur itna action liya hai ki pehle jo territory thi na iskp mein aaj ki date mein afghanistan mein isp ki koi territory nahi hai they are into small pockets into small uh, groups territory nahi hai. so and you know kai urban areas mein hai and all that and they also realize ki taliban ne hama ke pura usko nahi weed out kiya iskp ko aur jitna pressure iskp pe dala hai so lot of iskp have fled into pakistan peshti in bajor the reason also that why the west and us cannot support taliban fully because taliban ke uh, links are with al qaeda and al qaeda is also a salafist organization and also has pan uh, afghanistan goals so it's a very balancing act ki aap taliban ko support karenge which is taking out the iskp but taliban is also linked to uh, al qaeda so this is the complexity of the situation but aaj ki date pe mujhe lagta hai ki the west and the uh, russia specialty and central asian republics will focus on the iskp as a bigger threat Yeah. or as the biggest threat to them mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that is the, the the point that i want to come come to sir because ye you know bigger threat i i think aapne jo ye ye cheez boli hai this is very critical because a lot of people fail to understand the bigger threat the game is and you know i wanted to actually i was just taking out this particular thing uh <clears throat> in the past 3 months sir as you kind of opened your argument with this and i want to bring you back there in the past 3 months so the pakistani army has lost more than 150 regular troops 150 regular troops 3 mahine mein 50 troops a month but a huge level of attrition and this is regular sir this is not fc this is not uh, okay rangers this is not bat this is not nothing these are regular army troops wow If you add FC and stuff like that, sir, the figure comes down to be about seventy-five a month, average, since the first of January, sir. Sir, this is a question. I have been thinking about this for a long time. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long can the Pakistanis take something like this? Yeah. How long माफ करो यार मैं नहीं जा रहा यहां पर करके रहे हो हमेशा जाते हैं सारे दस जाते हैं पांच वापस आते हैं दैट दैट इज इफ यू आर लकी कंपेयर द सिचुएशन इन इंडिया यू नो वी लूज टू सोल्जर्स बिकॉज़ वी वैल्यू ईच सोल्जर्स लाइफ इज एन अप्रोर यू नो इज अ रियल अप्रोर हियर दे आर लूजिंग 75 आर्मी पैरामिलिट्री पुलिस अ मंथ 75 So I mean, either the value of life in Pakistan, they don't care. You know, they will have the all photo ops. He, his, that, that coffin carry, carry, and they forget it, and they're ready for the next day, and the next day again, people are going to get killed. So this is just, you know, what's called a tactical response to the deteriorating strategic situation. 
you can't tactically deal with this anymore. Not at the level of casualties you are taking. You have to do something on the strategic level to go to the root of the problem. Either if you have the finances, the funds, the intelligence, you root it out from the absolute root. You know, you get it from the roots. Or you find some other strategic uh, method on which you can take care of it. Because yeah. if you continue like this, you know, the morale, can you imagine the morale of the forces? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And officers are being hit, sir. Yeah. You get colonels and all that dying here. No, first of all, Kathan, Lieutenant and all that stuff, okay, they're kids. When a lieutenant colonel and a colonel goes, to yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very major, it's a very yeah. major thing. And this is happening not only with, um, uh, you know, in uh, uh, Taliban and TTP. What about Baluchistan? It's happening in Baluchistan too. And how long will it be before the Sindhis go up, you know, taking a leaf from their book? And then people in Gilgit, Pakistan too. So that's what I've said, you know, the Pakistan army is reacting tactically to a deteriorating strategic situation. You know, that's very interesting that you say that. Abhi, sir, I want to come to the point that Pakistan ka kya game ho sakta hai. Kyunki dekhi, sir, America, if you're going to go sit with the Americans, Americans have no love lost for Pakistan. And, you know, I was reading this book uh, by Richard Armitras. It, it, it's a book written in 2004. It, call, it talks about US's grand strategy with AFPAC region sort of a thing. And they said, yeah, we need to kind of deal with Pakistan. We need to kind of motivate it to come towards this side. We need to keep its military strong so that it can protect its nuclear assets. That's the only reason why they need to keep the military strong, by the way. And the biggest thing they said was that we need to protect the interest of India. This was a shocker to me. I said, yeah, in 2003-04, India was an outcast. We had just done the nuclear explosion. It was on the comeback trail, you know, America was Aha. mending relations. Mending relationships. So, yeah. when you look at that and you apply it, what is happening today, sir, it's the same thing. They're trying to bring it back and this and that. But the defense establishment, jo hai na, sir, they're very pissed off with Pakistan because of you know, Pakistan. You know, kara hai. So, sir, how do you see these two combinations working together? Because ek taraf they need Pakistan to kind of deal with it. Dusi taraf, they, they, they want to kind of fix Pakistan properly. So, I think that they're going to let Pakistan go into this drain with all these snakes in it. And whatever you comes see, to it, comes to it. I, I think the US has a multiplicity of interests hmm. in, in, in vis-a-vis Pakistan. You rightly mentioned, you know, the nuclear uh, weapons is one major uh, thing which they can't take their eyes off. Terrorism is another one. You know, Terrorism outwardly towards India and towards the West. And here they have zeroed in on the ISKP. Can they use the Taliban to fix the ISKP? Perhaps, perhaps not, because of the presence of Al Qaeda and Taliban's good relations with the Al Qaeda. They can't afford to let Pakistan go wholly into the Chinese arms because of their you know strategic rivalry vis a vis China. If China has access to Gwadar. You never know what Pakistan will do to get Correct. more money or bail itself mm-hmm. out. Maybe hand over Gwadar to them. And if Chinese submarines come and make this a base, you know, um, uh, with an access to the Indian Ocean and the Gulf, that will be very bad news for the US and for the rest of the world. US doesn't want that. So the US ambassador, if you recall, some time ago had made a visit to Gwadar and to POK also, just to check out the situation and the lay of the land. So these are the various multiple, uh, you know, interests that the U.S. have. Then, of course, there is Iran that can Pakistan itself or proxies in Pakistan be used should the chips go down uh, vis-a-vis Iran. So they are also in the U.S. You know, there are different policy centers. Department of Defense has its own interests and policies. You have State Department pursuing one thing. You have the White House. You have the CIA. And... We think the USA is one. Actually, there are these various different interests and different departments and organizations that are plugging in different directions. If you read any book, you know, for, uh, in the last 20 years, they talk about how different people are pulling in different directions. State Department doing one thing, Department of Defense is having something else. So they have to balance all this out. 
And for that, I think you need a very strong and determined leadership and somebody which has, you know, a, a far-sighted vision. So as the US goes closer into the election mode, I think it'll have to wait till the next government, the next uh, presidency, that will find greater clarity coming out of US policy. Right now, I think US is just doing a holding operation to make sure that Pakistan doesn't sink in, its uh, nuclear weapons remain safe, and the terrorist threat to the US mainland or to the European allies or US interests all over the world are not harmed by any uh, thing from Pakistan. And mm. therefore, they'll give them a little bit of dole. They'll give them a little bit IMF ka kar denge, tumhara ye kar denge, IF-16s ka wo kar denge. So these are just basically holding operations. And let's not forget, especially the Department of Defense, the humiliation they faced while exiting from Afghanistan and 20 years investment in Afghanistan failed. They lost in Afghanistan primarily because of Pakistan. And the soldiers who fought there, the generals who fought there, are not going to forgive Pakistan for that. Hmm. There are other interests, so they will continue a relationship with Pakistan, but they will not forget the humiliation. They lost because of Pakistan. And there are so many reports, if you look at, um, you know, the Washington Times' cache of interviews that they did, which are now being released. It's so obvious that the US just did not know. They were so dependent on Pakistan for information from those uh, lines of communication, all their food supplies going through Karachi. They were so dependent on Pakistan, and Pakistan squeezed them badly. You know, supporting the Taliban, making sure they come back into power, yet <laughs> pretending to be part of the uh, war on terror. Yeah, even though memory, American memories are short, I don't think so. They are that short you know, that they yeah, will forget this. They, they will not forget it. So that's what yeah. I, 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 you know, personally feel that is Pakistan forgetting that factor that you are sitting in Godi and you are forgetting that you are going to be end state Pakistan ka is going to be decided by the Americans. And that's one of the reasons I put that thumbnail that doomsday. Now, doomsday is not a scenario where everything goes to the dogs in one day. It is a series of events that will lead up to that particular, you know, event. Yeah. So my question to you, and this is my my second last question to you before we get into the uh, the audience questions, is Pakistan kind of headed on that track finally, sir? Because we, all of us kind of look for those signs. Ki yar, Pakistan abhi kahan par idhar udhar kuch jatka lagega. This to think, me is a clear cut sign, sir. I think the trajectory is there. You know, and I'll give you reasons for it. I don't see any leadership in Pakistan, civil or military, which has the understanding of the problem, the courage to do something about it. It's totally lacking, both in the civil and in the political uh, and the military. They're all busy politicking, fighting Imran Khan case, this, that, and the other. And I think I mentioned in your show earlier, you see, these are the problems on the surface. Hmm. Terrorism hogi, ye hogi. What about the fundamentals which are eating the inner of Pakistan? You know, water, education, economy, population. Pakistan is going to run out of water in the next five years. It's going to become a water scarce country. Yeah. China, US, or your nuclear weapons are not going to help. And without water, there is no life. Nobody is paying attention to the huge water. You know, this year, I was reading that for the Kharif crop, there's a 30% water sh shortage. At the sowing stage. Yep. So if you do, if you don't sow your kharif now, between the April to mid yep. uh, mid May, how will you reap it? That means you have to import more food. Where do you have the money to import food? So you know these are fundamental issues. And if you don't do, I, I had predicted this about ten years ago in my first book in 2016. I said if Pakistan doesn't get its act together in the next ten years, there is no way it can go else south. It'll go towards the abyss. Hmm. But these are the fundamental issues which are wrecking, eating the inner of Pakistan. No one is not giving attention to it. No one is thinking about it. No one has no vision or vision. No one has no understanding. No one has no courage. That this is the problem. Let's leave the rest of it. Imran Khan goes to Jannam. Let us focus on this. All of us are together to tackle this problem. How do we tackle it? We will stay in the case. We will stay in the politics. We will not do the army. The general has taught me that I have an extension. So, trajectory towards doomsday, as you mentioned, 
ट्रेजेक्टरी इज देर कोई है जिसपे हिम्मत है टू स्टॉप दैट ट्रेजेक्टरी टू चेंज द ट्रेजेक्टरी देर आर पीपल इन पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान में बड़े थिंकिंग लोग हैं इंटेलिजेंट लोग हैं वो समझते हैं कि कहां जा रहे हैं हम अब किसी भी एडिटोरियल या कोई पेपर आप देखें इंटेलिजेंट पीपल हैं जो राइटिंग आर्टिकल कर क्या रहे हम समबडी रोड आई एम वेरी स्केर्ड फॉर पाकिस्तान द वे वी आर गोइंग तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि ये प्रोजेक्टरी अगर ज्यादा मोमेंटम गैदर करेगी बहुत मुश्किल होगा आगे चल के पाकिस्तान के सर लास्टली मैं आपसे यही पूछूंगा क्योंकि देखिए सर नाउ व्हेन यू लुक एट द एफ पैक आई एक्चुअली हैव क्रिएटेड अ जोक सेइंग एफ पैक पैक एफ बिकॉज़ एफ पैक इज नाउ पैकिंग एफ नथिंग एल्स अह द फैक्टर दैट यू सी इन दिस एरिया इज वन थिंग वेरी सिंपल सर यूएसए इज इन्वॉल्व्ड यू सेड दिस रशिया इज इन्वॉल्व्ड ठीक है रशियंस हैव कॉल्ड द अफगानीज एंड सेड आजो भाई लेट्स ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट हाउ टू ब्लडी लेजिटिमाइज यू चाइनीज ने ऑलरेडी इनको रेजिटिमाइज कर रखा है आप इनके साथ डीलिंग्स कर रहे हो नो बडी इज गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट दिस बट आई विल से इट इन द ओपन यू आर फ्री टू एग्री और डिसएग्री सर दैट दैट डैम आई हैव क्लियर इंटेलिजेंस दैट यू आर सपोर्टिंग द वर्क देयर देयर इज यू नो जो काबुल रिवर पे डैम बन रहा है देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स यू स्टार्टेड अप ऑलरेडी विद इन अफगानिस्तान सो यू आर आल्सो काइंड ऑफ डीलिंग विद देम देयर स्टेटमेंट्स टुवर्ड्स यू आर वेरी मेलो वेरी very measured and very very this thing they don't cross that line with you because unko pata hai ye ye gussa hoga to bahut problem ho jayegi you have brought them into uh, uh uh into iran into the chabahar area you've kind of done that deal as well so there is a lot of legitimization which is happening by russia china india usa is there you've got iran you've got the central asian countries who are obviously looking at this and saying boss we need to look at this ye bekufi ये अंदर फैलेगी नहीं तो हमारी यू गॉट तजिकिस्तान विच इज ऑन द ब्रिंक सर दिस इज द ग्रेट गेम वंस अगेन बट दिस इज द ग्रेट गेम विद न्यूक्लियर वेपन दिस टाइम सो वॉट्स योर फाइनल क्लोजिंग ऑडियंस ग्रेट गेम विदिकलाइजेशन रेडिकलाइजेशन इज दस फैक्टर इन दाइनटीन दिस होल रीजन is so radicalized that it's like a tinder box but uh, i'll let me tell you one important nugget the iranians have managed to establish contact with the taliban in kandar you see the taliban governance structure i don't know if you're aware of it the inner circle is the people who are around haibatullah nobody has access to them nobody can go and meet them yeah yeah then there is a larger circle around the first circle nobody knows who they are you can't nobody outside can get access to them either and the third governance circle is what you see in kabul in the various ministers and all that that's interesting these, hanji these are away from the leadership people who are not in the close inner circle so anybody who goes chinese go russian go everybody goes they go and meet the ministers in kabul are bhai the real things which is happening is in kandar iran has managed to establish some sort of a contact in kandar i'm not saying with the inner or the second inner circle but with some officials in kandar so that's a very important development so iran is aware that you need the taliban if you're going to take care of at least one proxy group which is the iskp they will come to jaish e adal in due course but you know this is one thing that they have done so in this entire region nuclear weapons radicalization it's a tinder box and if people don't get their act together by which i mean understand the problem understand the issue have the vision a strategic vision don't deal with this region tactically and you know somebody has some interest minor interest but you have to look at the overarching picture what is going to happen let's say 5 years 10 years down the road and if the situation continues like this is it worth pressurizing the taliban so much as what pakistan is doing because it has a problem with the ttp and if the ttp becomes under pressure it will join the iskp what happens to central asia and russia at that time you know and you see they will let pakistan get away hmm. with its country so russia hmm. is a different kettle of fish who oh, no so you know americans will so, forgive russia will never forgive yeah. 
I so, think you hit, hit I, the nail really hard this time. <laughs> yeah. So, this is something which I think all of us in the region, you know, and you watch it so closely. We all need to follow this very closely and see what trends emerge. And uh, especially, I think what Iran is going to do or does not do hmm. over hmm. the next hmm. week, 15 days, is hmm. going to be very critical. Yeah, yeah. Because, sir, look, one of the biggest things is you have hinted at but this is the first conversation that you and I have had in about five, ten conversations that we've had. We've Pashtuno, Baloch, we've not gone into the ethnicity. This is the first time. You are seeing that ethnicity is up above this conversation. This has gone a step forward from the ethnic tensions that were there. This has yeah. gone a step forward from uh, 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 the 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 sectarian tensions that were there. Yeah. This is a different game altogether. But this is a game that is happening. Ethnic tensions are there. Now, ethnic tensions are coming from the limelight se kam ho ah. hai because this is a big problem. Aa gaya. But ethnic tensions are very much there. They can come from the top of the You know, it's 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 amazing. Uh, and and I never thought that you will actually could have a conversation about a region without touching these these aspects of it. So this has actually transcended that ethnic part of it. Now it has come to a point where they are saying, boss, ho gaya ho, ab action mein aana hai. So the, the Pashtun Wali Badal is actually coming into play now. Yeah. I don't know, would you agree with me or not? So you're the authority. Yeah, because, you see, the Afghan, the Pashtuns, Taliban have not forgotten. This is Pakistan has treated us for 20 years. Pakistan has said support for support. But this you have kept the Mullah Brother for 5 years in jail. You have kept the Mullah Brother for 5 years in jail. Someone else has In an interview, he said, Pakistan has kept me for 5 years in the sky. He was put in a dark room for five years. He said, I couldn't see the sunlight. I think currently he's a minister. So there are people like that, you know. And they don't forget. They don't forget. The people who are in North Waziristan and South Waziristan, they don't forget. And they will push that push. You know, what happens in Afghanistan? If you are weak in Afghanistan, if you don't take a break, then you will take a break. Bide your time. But he will fester. The father will tell his son. The mother will tell the son. You have to change. The girl will tell his son. You have to change. So that will continue. So if I were Pakistan, I would be very worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't see them. What is it? Do you put Imran Khan in the Bani Gala or not? He sent the Bushra Bibi in the Bani Gala. So these are so irrelevant. The complex problem is the complexity. There is a tactical response to a deteriorating strategic situation. And what are they currently focused on? Bharat ne humare na 20 log maar diye. Oh, yar, tum, you know, but see that article. Ye sawal pehle nahi pucha gaya ki aap terrorists aap kyu paal rahe the? Aap ki yahan se kaise mile? Aap kya kar rahe the? Inki aap ye terrorists aap ke paas kya hai? और कितने और पाले हुए हैं आपने हां ये पहला सवाल तो यहां से शुरू होता है ना या एब्सोल्युटली सर एब्सोल्युटली कॉज एंड इफेक्ट कि आप हमारे मुल्क में आकर जो भी चाहे कर दो हां पाले तो आपने थे ना तो गार्डियन शुड हैव फर्स्ट आस्क पाकिस्तान कि भाई बंदे आपके क्यों मर रहे हैं एब्सोल्युटली सर सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी नीड टू काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड क्योंकि ये ब्रेकडाउन है सर this is a breakdown of the system. This is a breakdown of the thought process. And I, you know, guilty se. Normally, I don't see. Today, today, Najam Sethi's show came in front of me. I know, two, one day after the old one. So I clicked on it. I said, listen to it. That's the same story. You know, I heard him saying, India when Jai Shankar went to Iran, there he said Iran to strike on Pakistan. Oh man, oh bhai, tera dimaag karab hai, yaar. What is wrong with you people, man? And I thought Najam Sethi had some sense. Some. Not much, but some. But there you go. They come back to that same thing. India ne Iran se airstrike karai hai. Oh bhai, if India was so powerful, then trust you me, Pakistan would not have existed. We would have taken uh, it out. 
why do I need to go to Iran to do it? And also, you think Iran doesn't have a cause? Uh. Is Iran mercenary that will say to us? It doesn't have a cause. You have treated it. You have sheltered it. You have given it to your camps. 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 I mean, ye, 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 this is this is the bottom line in Pakistan. Raki Sajish. Her I mean, and it's it's funny that ye jo abhi ho hai, they've not yet brought Ra into the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said anything. But you know, it's, it's, it's okay, amazing. Pakistan ki ek, always uh-huh. unki galti kisi cheez mein nahi hai. Uh-huh. Unki economy doob rahi hai, unki galti nahi hai. टेररिज्म है उनकी गलती नहीं है ये सब बाहर से हो रहा है ये साजिश है अरे भैया आंखें खोलो स्मेल द कॉफी गलती तुम्हारी है और तुम्हारी ही है और किसी की गलती नहीं है एब्सोल्युटली सर इफ यू आर गोइंग थ्रू ट्रबल यू नीड टू लुक इनवर्ड ये नहीं कि यू स्टार्ट ब्लेमिंग दिस गाय दैट गाय एंड ये तो आई मीन दिस इज इट्स क्वाइट सैड सर थैंक यू सो मच दिस वाज क्वाइट एन आई ओपनर आपने यू नो यू हैव टेकन अ डिफरेंट एंगल टू दिस एंड लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग सर i have been kind of speaking certain things that you've kind of brought out but it coming from your mouth let me tell you so it gives me a lot more confidence to kind of analyze this particular situation in that aspect so i'd really really like to say only one thing thank you so much for putting us all into the right track to think otherwise you know we all kind of get i i would say we get diverted with this political part of pakistan and we kind of forget to look at uh, when we start analyzing pakistan end of it the conversation comes down to imran khan asim munir and all that this is transcended that which is what you very 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 nicely brought out today so thank you so much for that guys like this video yeah this is some this is a conversation which trust you me should go down in history books sir ne jis tarah se explain kara hai and sir i will share the mails with you when it, when they come from uh, our friends in afghanistan and pakistan and everywhere oh, i will look forward I, to reading those i do no get problem, right? i do get some some interesting comments where people actually agree with what we are saying so that's that's very interesting um uh, guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you if you've not most importantly uh, please 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 uh, you know spread the word share these videos with your friends and family put it on your social media so that it can grow and of course you can contribute towards the dev talks efforts using the qr code on top paypal for for you, those of you watching from abroad ya fir you can use super stickers super chats or the memberships let's get into the questions sabse pehle kejriwal ki bhatakti atma my god what a name thank you so much say sir molana pakistan ke paas pehle paise nahi the inko trade karni hai but paise aane ke baad fir terrorist wale kaam karenge yeah so i agree I agree with that, you know, because you see, Pakistan ke problem ye, mein, pehli kitab mein, jo ke, meri findings thi, jo, uh, hatred hai India ke khilaf, hmm. unke DNA mein. Really, right, jab paise nahi honge, to phir, se jappi, pappi, jaise paise aenge, so they're back to their tricks. So we have to be very careful, understand them, ki ye bachcha hai, you know, uh, विकेट बच्चा है वो यही करेगा यू कॉन्ट क्लोज योर आईज आप आई डोंट टू डिस्पेज एनी बड़ी बट हमें मोमबत्ती लेके वाघा बॉर्डर पर जो यू नो सम पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड कि गुड रिलेशन होने चाहिए नॉल दैट नहीं होंगे जब तक पाकिस्तान का डीएनए नहीं बदलेगा सर वो अमन की आशा से भगवान बचाए सर यू नो आई सिट एंड टॉक टू अ चाइनीज यू नो अ प्रो चाइनीज गाय बट यू कॉन्ट रिलेज पाकिस्तानी गुड रिलेशन विद पाकिस्तान इज विद योर नेबर्स इज इंपॉर्टेंट होने चाहिए और होने चाहिए वे ताली दोनों हाथ से बज रही है ना यहां तो ताली बजी नहीं रही आई मीन दिस होल नॉनसेंस ऑफ ट्रेड यहां पर शुरू हो गए ओ ट्रेड करना ओ हो वी शुड मेक दिस आई सॉ पीपल मेकिंग लिस we need to get this guy back we need to go do this we need to do th- i'm like bhai tum trade means what there is no trade all he is doing is buying stuff from us that too when the guy is still not paid us 495 million dollars on the wo jo covid pandemic mein dawaiyan liye hain uske abhi tak paise nahi diye abhi tak in logon ne ye to halat hai and we are oh oh trade trade very important it will be beneficial for both the country we don't no. need the trade We don't need it. Our exports are booming. Yeah. Ever since the trade was stopped in 2019, our exports are booming. We don't need to trade with Pakistan. Ka koi, uh, it, it is a gesture. It depends on goodwill. But if both sides are playing, 
Absolutely. Correct, sir. Godspeed, thank you so much. He says, sir, great info as usual. It seems there are more experts on the chat who are busy arguing with each other. Leave them apart. Yeah? It's okay. Causing a distraction, what the expert is saying. Completely disrespectful. Yeah, I know people were trying to take the conversation to Punjab, but let it be. Sir, I want to ask you about what, uh, you know, you just mentioned about trade. Is the factor that there is a, there is a, ek chutri chhod dete Isak Dar, one guy comes and puts out a chutri. Ki bhai, oh, we, we are thinking of trade. And the entire ecosystem just lights up. What is that, sir? No, look, he had a response to a question in an interview, I think. He left him to the show. If Pakistan is serious, he will give a diplomatic channels ke through a serious proposal. Dega. And for India to take notice. We can't take notice of press conferences. I give a suggestion. Where is the official note? Yeah. And the other ये तो अपने गवर्नमेंट के लिए ट्रायल बलून था कि इसका लोगों को क्या रद्द अमल आएगा आर्मी का क्या रद्द अमल आएगा सो दे आर टेस्टिंग द वाटर्स देमसेल्व्स दे नो व्हाट इंडियाज रिएक्शन इज हमारा रिएक्शन सिंपल है ट्रेड आपने बंद की है इन 2019 अगस्त अगर आपने खोलनी है तो प्रपोजल भेजो हम ऐसे क्यों अपना एनर्जी और यू नो एफर्ट जाया करें आपका प्रपोजल नहीं है हम पहले पहुंच जाएं ट्रेड करने के लिए we are not interested in trade one way. आपने बंद किए, आपने हाई कमिश्नर विक रिकॉल किए, पहले वो आप करो, सेंड अ फॉर्मल प्रपोजल, फिर इंडिया एग्जामिन करेगा। I mean, I I I can't read uh, the language there, but he says what does Kataristan manufacture? <laughs> Jihad. I mean that's it's a joke, but it's true. Today it's exporting terrorists to Russia, hit China, hit Iran. I don't know what else he's he's किस किस और जगह में घुसा हुआ है वो? I also know the factor that this Bangladesh is not going to be Suddenly, Usme Jamaat ka hai, Jamaat is connected to Pakistan. So he's doing also, all that. Yeah. Unka trade is that we have to do all India is not going to be able to do it. If we have to do it, we will be able to do it. We will be able to do it. So we will be able to Inflation is 25 30% per year. We will be able to do it. We will be Partha sahab, thank you so much. Says, how will the region manage water? How do you see Kosh Tepa Canal in northern Afghanistan and Karachi Canal project, pro, uh, project in southern Pakistan? Who's funding? <laughs> Nobody you see will the, say that. The Kosh Tepa jo Canal, hai, I think the Taliban have managed to do within their own sources. There is no outside funding to that. Yeah. They have managed to raise, uh, raise the resources through uh, customs duty, through various um, you know uh, drug trade, whatever. So that's a huge project, you know. They're building a canal in the north, which will, it's about 280 kilometers long canal. And mm-hmm. your agriculture is the north, ka hai, it'll be very, very beneficial to them. Achha, both Uzbekistan and Tajikistan are unhappy because it taps into the water of the Amudriya. They don't have any water sharing agreement, but I think it was sought out. Kar rahe. And uh, Kachi Canal project in uh, southern Pakistan. Yes, sir. Kachi Canal in southern Pakistan. You see, the problem in southern Pakistan is, Sindh tak paani paunchta kaise hai? Jo Indus ka jo paani pehle Sindh mein aata tha, aur Sindh ki jo puri civilization hai, wo Indus pe based thi. Ab to Indus paunchti bhi nahi hai. Except for the four months of the monsoon, Indus reaches the sea. But rest of the eight months, it doesn't reach the sea. So, Baden and Thatta, the two districts, are joining uh, you know, uh, the sea. Ab sea water erosion shuru ho gaya hai. The sea water has now entered almost 100 kilometers inland. Because before Indus ka pani tha na, it used to push the water out, sea water out. And so you had mangrove forests. A mangrove forests bhi sakur 100 kilometers inland, the sea has come, land has become saline. People can't do any agriculture there, they're all moving out of that place. So this Kachi canal, kahan se aega pani? Sindh ki to ye ro raha hai, ki jitna upper riparian Punjab hai, sara pani to usne le liya hai. The Sindh is deprived of water. Badin is the same place where that uh, air defense station used to be there in 71 and all that, right, sir? Their main a- a radar used to be there. Achha, I'm, I'm not aware of that. Okay. They, hey. I remember this is there's a story of the raid in Badin from... Uh, they took off from Buj and they raided that place or something like that. That's why I'm... This is in uh, Kach Gujarat, right? On their side? 
Yeah, it's in this lower Sindh. Lower Sindh, okay. Yeah, then it's the same place, sir. SS Rana, uh, thank you so much. What are the downsides of India sharing a land border with Afghanistan if Gilgit Baltistan comes under Indian control down the line? See, we don't have a boundary issue with Afghanistan. Pakistan ka masla Afghanistan ka saath kya hai? Ki jo British ke time mein, jo major population thi Pashtuno ki, wo to British apne kabze mein kar li through the Durand line, hmm. jo Afghan government maanti nahi hai. Hamare saath koi boundary issue nahi hai na Afghanistan ka. In fact, if anything, the last agreement of 1921, it's called the Indo-Afghan border. Yep, if anything, yep, yep. it is the Indo-Afghan border. Where is Pakistan? Where is it? So, if there is no boundary ka masla nahi hai between two neighbors, there can be other issues. Neighbors, mein hamesha, koi bhi neighbor hura, dekh lo. Nepal, India, dekh lo, Bangladesh, Myanmar. Neighbors ke saath hamesha dikkat hi hoti hai. USA, Canada mein dikkat hoti hai. But this is not a boundary issue. No land in today's history will not want to compromise our land. So this is not a problem in Afghanistan. That's true. Akshay Ayarji, thank you so much. Newton law, Newton's law of Afghanistan, Afghans feist amongst themselves until attacked by external forces. This is true. This is throughout history. This is what happened. The drawback is that you know, brother fights with brother. Then the two brothers you write to fight against the cousins. Then the cousins and the brothers you write to fight against the neighboring village. Then these villages get together to fight. But they forget their feud and they will join against. So that is true. So that has been but, part of the Pashtun Valley. That is the part of the problem. Is so, there a difference uh, between the Kandahar and the Kabul faction, sir? You see, under the Taliban system of governance, they have spiritual leadership. Hai. Which is based out of Kandar. See, Kandar was the Durani homeland. Hmm. So spiritual leadership hai, or Taliban governance mein, Amirul Mominin to Kandar mein beta hua hai. So he overrides jo bhi Kabul mein. Kabul is a civil government jo baaki ko saath interact karti hai. Directions Kandar se aate hai and implemented by Kabul. So Kandar always calls the shots. Guys, or Kandar, please. Sorry. Kandhar ko reach karna bada mushkil hai even for people sitting in Kabul. Okay. Because they are in the periphery. Periphery. Hmm. Guys, hit the like buttons please. We are at 900 likes. I'm sure we can build it up. We got almost 1700 people watching us. Himanshu Gulk sahab, thank you so much for your super sticker. Tony Stark, thank you so much for your contribution. His view on growing ex-Muslim movement in Pakistan estimated at 10 lakhs. I wouldn't know you much know, about it. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Agar in Pakistan, ex-Muslims uh, will be very difficult because they will immediately be declared apostates. Mm. Bajibul Katil. Yeah. You know, unless they are communists or they hide their... Earlier, kya hota tha? Jo communists, you know, they were considered as ex muslim but because they were communists, uh, they were allowed to survive. But today, when you are thinking about 10,000,000, I don't have any study about this, so I can't comment on it. RMS says, in a huge shock for China, Pakistan, Punjab's Chief Minister Maryam Nawaz blames the Chinese uh, living in Pakistan for not following security protocols. That to me was amazing, actually. And the way she said it, they don't listen to us. We don't listen to them. When they say them, they get angry with us. How will it go? You know, like, wow. So, you know, uh, I will put it down to her inexperience. It's called diplomacy, governance, ka bhi kam experience. Hai. Diplomacy is not experience. Hai hi nahi. So, she is showing frustration. Show kar rahi hogi. But sir, why People would she comment when the attack happened in KPK? I know. So, this is the thing, inexperience. Because people have told them. The same problem in Punjab. In Punjab, there are many projects. There are many projects in Punjab. People have told us that the Chinese don't want to talk to us. They are doing a lot of work. How many videos have come from Chinese people? Uh, you know, yeah. Pakistani people are killing them. Ramzan ka fast nahi obje karne dete ya namaz nahi padhne dete. Baut incidents hain. So as chief minister, she must be articulating this. But kyunki experience nahi hai. Ki ye baatein jo hai na, ye public mein kehne ki baatein nahi hai. Ab to ye public mein aa gaya. But I'm sure she will get a dressing down from Nawaz Sharif and from Shahbaz Sharif. Ki tum kyunne kya kya diya? To kal ke ab dekh lena. Kal comment aega she was misquoted. Unka ye matlab nahi tha. 
कल आ जाएगा हो गया खत्म सर अब तो अब तो चाइनीज डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री ने भी देखा अच्छा ये क्या है जे जे दी वैसे भी ये शिवाज शरीफ जा रहा चाहिए शायद मरियम को साथ लेकर जाए फिर वहां उसकी पिटाई होगी सॉरी 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 as the only issue uh, between iran and israel is the fate and ideology related and they vouch to wipe israel off is there something that can be done to make them friends which can mean a lot why i take this question sir because currently the entire tension in the middle east and this entire region is because of that you see it's an article of faith jo shia hai aur jo unka jo supreme leader hai it is an article of faith for them ki jab tak जितने जूज हैं उनको उनका कातवा नहीं होगा देर कैन बी नो पीस सो इट इज एन इनकोन्साइलेबल अगर ईरान अपना पूरा आइडियोलॉजिकल सिस्टम चेंज करता है आई डोंट सी दैट हैपनिंग तो एनिमिटी इज इन बिल्ट हाँ बट इवन देर आर कॉम्प्रोमाइज वेरी डिफिकल्ट कि भाई चलो ये दुश्मनी तो है ही है हम आपको खत्म करेंगे मगर इन द मेन टाइम वी कैन डू बिजनेस बट ये बड़ा मुश्किल है तो ये तो एक 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 चीज है जो इनरिकनसाइलेबल है इट कैन नॉट बी रिजोल्व ट्रू सर एस एन टैक्टिकली डू सी द रिसेंट अटैक्स ऑन पाकिस्तान स्टिल आर स्टिल ऑफ गुरेला नेचर और द इंटेंट लुक्स मोर टूवर्ड्स पुशिंग पाकिस्तान आर्मी एंड सिक्योरिंग द क्लेम्ड टेरिटरी इसी अभी तक जितने भी ग्रुप्स हैं जैसे बलोच हैं टीटीपी हैं दे आर नॉट अ मैच फॉर द पाकिस्तान आर्मी पाकिस्तान आर्मी का जो फायर पार है फायर पार उनके देवकॉट एयरफोर्स देवकॉट आर्टिलरी तो आप कोई फ्री एरिया नहीं बना सकते और आई डिक्लेयर इट कि हमने एक्स वाई जेड एरिया को हमने फ्री कर दिया है और यहाँ पर हमारी हुकूमत है ये नहीं कर पाएंगे क्योंकि पाकिस्तान आर्मी बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है in terms of training in terms of equipment in terms of weaponry in terms of artillery in terms of air force in, or you have your insurgent groups hai kisi ke paas apni air force nahi hai kisi ke paas artillery nahi hai hmm to abhi territory nahi kar sakte territory karenge to they will be smashed so it will be hit and run it will be guerrilla tactics apne mountains mein jaake chup jayenge they come out again and attack hmm anand says the bikaristan owes also owes us 300 crore rupees that we had loaned them both before and after independence i am not aware of this are you uh he says this has never been paid back either no i am not aware at the time of partition there was certain amount of money jo uh, pakistan ko jana tha and gandhi ji went on a fast ki unko wo paisa mile and people opposed it ki yahi paisa pakistan use karke hamare khilaf uh, istemal karegi hmm. but then uh, you know we had to give the money i so, didn't know it was a loan ye ye uh, uh, i'm going to dig into this yeah. yaar anant if you have some details yeah please mail kar do uh, aapko pata hai mail ek, ek, ek baat hai ki jo water sarap shuru mein uh, sharing of waters before the treaty pakistan used to buy the water they to they were to pay india to ek bari unhone fir paise band kar diye the dene that time india stopped the water so this whole negotiations for the indus water treaty i don't know whether he is referring to that Probably, probably. Uh, Arun, please, if you can mail, I'll share it with sir as as well. This is quite in- intriguing. If it's about that, then it's uh, different. But then let's let's figure this out. Uh, but Acharya Sir, thank you so much. How strong do we have to be economically and militarily so that Pakistan is nothing more than a footnote in our conversations? It's a good question. I don't know if I have the answer. You see, Pakistan को सबसे मिर्ची किस बात की लगती है अगर इंडिया उनको इग्नोर करे और इंडिया के लिए अगर वो फुट नोट रह जाए तो वो सबसे बड़ी मिर्ची उनको उतर हो जाएगी दे वॉन्ट टू फील रेलिवेंट दे वॉन्ट टू फील इम्पोर्टेंट ऑल द टाइम हमारा इंडिया से मुकाबला है और दुनिया भी हमें इक्वल्स ट्रीट करे पैरिटी वी आर टू बी वी आर इक्वल टू और यू नो सो ये उनके लिए बड़ा काबिल कबूल नहीं होगा कि इंडिया ट्रेड से फुट नोट हमारी कोशिश तो अफकोर्स करनी चाहिए बट क्योंकि पाकिस्तान के पास ये अबिलिटी है तंग करने की दे कैन ऑलवेज क्रिएट एन इंसिडेंट टू मेक श्योर रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कम्स एंड टेल इंडिया की नहीं नहीं यार 
यू नो डोंट डू दिस तो मुझे नहीं लगता अभी इतनी जल्दी पाकिस्तान को हम एक फुट नोट बना सकेंगे हाँ इग्नोर तो कर सकते हैं इग्नोर कर ही रहे हैं पिछले तीन चार सालों से वी आर डूइंग नथिंग तो इस तरह के मुझे कारण लगता चलेगा बट यू कॉन्ट इग्नोर पाकिस्तान क्योंकि इट हैज दबिलिटी टू सरप्राइज यू या दैट ऑलवेज Mr India says uh, do Americans still operate drone bases in pa- Pakistan you know jaise wo Ayman al Zawari pe jo attack hua tha drone ka it is suspected the Taliban suspect that the drone had taken off from Pakistan yeah ab wo permanent base hai ya temporary base hai or need bases hai ye kehna bada mushkil hai and girly miss girly says the last comment Ask Adi, whatever situation Bharat needs to be concerned, USA is playing cat and mouse game, and which is how I wanted to end this conversation, sir. USA जो कर रहा है वो अपने national interest के लिए कर रहा है. हर एक country अपने national interest के लिए करती है. दोस्ती वोस्ती कोई matter नहीं करती. US का interest क्या है? जैसे हमने पहले भी program में discuss किया था. Pakistan के nuclear weapons गलत हाथों में नहीं जाने चाहिए. Terrorism Pakistan से बाहर नहीं जाना चाहिए. और 240 मिलियन की कंट्री आई थिंक इट्स द एथ मोस्ट पॉपुलर सो फिफ्थ मोस्ट पॉपुलर कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड यू कांट बिकॉज़ द इंप्लोजन जो अगर होगा पाकिस्तान में तो इट विल स्प्रेड ऑल द नेबर्स है ना तो पाकिस्तान यूएसए का नेशनल इंटरेस्ट है वो अपने नेशनल इंटरेस्ट को फॉलो करेगी उनके भी जो मुफाद में है वो अपना पॉलिसी उसी हिसाब पे बनाएगी एंड इट विल फॉलो दैट That's the that's the thing, sir. I mean, you know, it it kind of abandons his partners also. जो भी हो जाए मुझे नहीं फर्क पड़ता मेरे को ये करना मैं करूँगा जो तुमको होता है तुमने Henry Kissinger का famous statement है ना to be an enemy of the US is bad enough. Yeah. To be its friend is worse. Is worse, worse, worse. Absolutely, sir. पता नहीं कहाँ बोला था किस mood में बोला था उसने but I think he said something really really important. But sir, let me say that Henry Kissinger is his own place. I think Mr. Tilak Devasar has outdone himself today. Uh, I've had multiple conversations with you. It's this one has been a little different, and I think, sir, uh, on this line of thought, I think you can write a little mini book as well, because the way you explain the geopolitics in this region, it's it's really impressive, and one can see the comments that are coming out with uh, people people's interest in this. uh topic as well as the 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 last fact that i'd like to mention that uh the realism that pakistan wants in its relationship with with its neighbors can only be achieved when pakistan realizes that it's the real game that they are playing not something on a chessboard i think pakistan fails to understand that one thing for them it's just a game on a piece of wood somewhere where they are not able to comprehend that people are dying and there's a lot of bad blood which is created for them in the region on that also pakistan ka ye bhi ye bhi attitude hai na ki baaki log beskuf hai main kuch bhi yeah. karta raha hu thappad thappad exactly. marta raha hu log react nahi karenge acha ab reaction aata hai are ye kya ye kya ho gaya you know that is the kind of attitude ha aise kaise kar diya thank you so much adi i really enjoyed thank the you, conversation and uh, uh, main ek message dalna chahunga hamare bhaiyon se balochistan se he says i am from balochistan i hope to see a free balochistan in my life so do we Yeah, absolutely. And all the best for that. Thank you, sir. Jai Hind. Thank you, Jai sir. Bhar. Thank you, Jai Hind.